Hey guys, it's Owen here from OTEC and today we're going to take a look at the HIS Radeon RX 480 8GB graphics card. So this is the reference card and this is basically just HIS rebranding AMD's own made reference card and boxing, them, boxing it themselves and putting their own stickers. But this is basically the reference card and this is one way to get reference card which is through the board partners like HIS does. So let's take a look at the box. The front itself is pretty plain and it has the new, the new HIS uh, Lion logo and it says here VR ready which it is and the back of, of the box itself shows its feature set which is pretty standard for an RX 480 and yeah let's take a look inside. You find this brown box inside and let's take a look. So first up is the accessories box which inside you can find a display port to a DVI adapter because this card doesn't have a DVI doesn't have a DVI plug so you would need an adapter to do that. It's nice that they included this but I'm guessing that's why their package is kind of on the expensive side, I guess. Anyways, uh, this is a dual Molex to a 6-pin power connector. Never use this, these things because if your power supply doesn't have a 6-pin six six pin power connector, then it's basically too old to run this thing anyways. Next is this envelope, which inside has a driver disk which you shouldn't use as well it's better to just download the latest driver from the AMD website and also the user guide and that's it so let's see what's next which I think is just a graphics card left so let's take a look so it is in an anti-static packaging and once you take it out, you can see the graphics card itself. It's just a normal reference RX 480. And as you can see, it's still wrapped in plastic, so let's take it off. Yep, that was satisfying. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this is the card itself. So AMD's gone to their new style, which is a, kind of like a bl black brick with a single fan over here and some dot patterns on the front itself. So it's kind of like the R9 Nano and the R9 Fury cards that, from, that AMD has released. It's kind of following the, the same design language. On top here you can see the 6 pin power connector and the bottom is just the normal PCI Express X16 3.0 power uh, PCI PCI Express 3.0 X16 slot and for the I.O. AMD has chosen to leave one slot empty of any connectors to increase area for airflow I guess and over here you can see there's three display ports and one HDMI port on the front itself there's basically just the Radeon logo same as on the top which I honestly think looks really nice and on the fan itself you could see HIS logo is, has been stuck on there but this is basically just an AMD card which they have just stuck their own sticker on but yeah that's pretty much it. So yeah. That's it.
thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you do please leave a like and comment if you have any questions and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and stay tuned for the rx480 shootout that i'm currently in the process of testing so yeah thanks for watching hey guys it's owen here from OnTech, and today we're going to take a look at the core i5 6600 from intel so let's take a look at the box it has the normal intel skylight box design these days with the graphics